Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have today in front of us the newest floor plan built by Richmond American Homes. We're looking at the Pine floor plan. This one is uh, 2,350 square feet. It goes up to five bedrooms. Really, really nice floor plan. Super excited to show it to you guys. At a purchase price on this one for about $570,000, $580,000 after all the upgrades are in, lot premium and all that good stuff, that's what this house is gonna cost you. So as I mentioned, 2,350 square feet. It's a, it's a pretty nice uh, square footage for having five full bedrooms and a loft. We're located in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley, to be specific. We're right next to Durham West, which is a KB community. We are all the way out uh, in the corner of the southwest. And you can see here, we have mountain views on this side, all surrounding us over there. Uh, if you keep going down this road, you get to Perump within another 30 minutes or so. Uh, but we are right off of uh, Fort Apache and Blue Diamond. And uh, it's a really nice uh, growing area. Lots of land here being developed by these builders. And HOAs are only $60 a month. We are not gated. So you're gonna have open streets just like these ones uh, where you have homes. So very nice and open community. You have uh, sidewalks pretty much on both sides, one and two of the streets. And these streets are very wide. So it makes it feel like you're not, you know, clumped up uh, together, uh, kind of like throwing as many homes as possible in, in a piece of dirt. Uh, right here we have um, this house. Uh, they don't have a starting price anymore because what they did is they switched to uh, the same business model that pretty much Lennar and Dior Horton have, which is, okay, we build homes that are spec'd out already. You get to pick which one you want. Uh, they'll have a lot of different options as far as upgrades inside a house, but you pick which one you want and then you get on the contract. You usually have a turnaround time with these ones when you get on the contract within one or two months uh, from, from when you get on the contract, which means it's a quick move in and it gives you an opportunity to get a way lower interest rate which is what this builder is going for offering a lot of incentives interest rates as low as four and a half percent and also a lot of financing incentives that will cover all your closing costs now this specific house will be uh, out the door at around 570 uh, they might be at around five uh, five six or so depending on how many upgrades they put into the house this one has uh four full bedrooms upstairs that's what it comes with and it comes with a den downstairs as well now this one has Oh, as soon as you walk in, you have a nice hallway going up to the main, uh, to the open floor plan. This is right now their office, but this could be turned into a full bedroom downstairs. It's about a 10 by 11 bedroom, if that were to be the case. Uh, over to the left, we have a powder room, which would be turned into a full, uh, into a full bathroom if you get uh, the, the bedroom option downstairs. Over to the left is your garage, which we're gonna go in and check it out the size. You can see here, this is about 20 by 24. We will get, you know, irrigation system. The, they will also have a tankless water heater, soft water loop, everything inside the, uh, this, you know, this garage that you need. We do have about 24 feet from the door to there. So if you wanna, if you have a big truck, you can definitely fit it in here. Also because we have an eight foot high door. Okay, this is a nine foot ceiling. You can see the store is a little bit uh, slightly open, but we have, uh, it almost reaches the ceiling, which means you can definitely fit a, uh, you know, a lifted truck or something like that, if that's the case for you. As we go back into the house, find a nice open floor plan downstairs. I like this, this layout a lot. It's very efficient, very practical, and it makes a very good use of uh, the square footage. Linen closet downstairs right next to your powder room here, which could be turned into a full bathroom. So what I'm guessing they're gonna do is they take they take out these two and it brings out this bathroom with a door right here where you have a full bathroom now, enough space for a shower. Um, as you go inside, we have probably about three seats here on the island, nice open floor plan. Shaker cabinets, 42 inches, white, full overlay. Not the cheap stuff, so. Um, dining room. You can see that living room. And then these uh, stair rails, um, they're actually upgraded, but that, that's probably what you're gonna get into their spec homes as well. 
They upgraded to a 10 foot wide sliding door. This is a center meet, so it opens up from the middle out. And you can see the backyards are about 20 feet in depth. It will not come with uh, your barbecue area, but you might get a covered patio, whether that's a built-in like this one. This one is an extended built-in. This usually costs about 20 to 25 to do with the builder and they might have it. Or you might get a, a Luma wood cover patio, something similar to that material, but just uh, coming out here, which costs usually the builder half the price, but it still gets the job done. You will not get any landscaping done. The only thing you'll have is the pavers underneath the covered patio if your spec home does come with a covered patio as well. Usually, uh, now some homes they do put the, the covered patio, some, some other ones they don't. And at the moment right now, they're only doing spec homes. You, so you cannot come into this house and say, okay, I wanna change the color of the cabinets or I wanna do this or that. That's gonna be a decision that you make up front, seeing the specs of the house, whether you like it or not, which allows you to get a lower interest rate if you think about it, because you have a closer um, you know, closing date, which allows you to buy down the rate to maybe as low as four and a half percent at the moment of this video. Lots of windows in here. You know, one, two, three, four, five windows. Then you get lots of light in this uh, downstairs um, of this floor plan. You can see here, walking pantry as well, very spacious. As far as the appliances, some homes will get the canopy hood. Otherwise, for the most part, they put in a micro hood above the stove, but that's something that we can always, you know, try to uh, get changed out if that's the, uh, a necessity for you. As we go in here, we see a uh, full storage underneath the stairs. And then let's go up to the second floor. We'll check out the second floor. So what do you guys think? 700 and sorry, 560,000. Pretty soon it's probably going to be 700 one day. Maybe 10 years from now or maybe just five. Who knows the way this market is going. If interest rates go down to 3%, we might already get it in a couple years. <laughs> so one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. These are the secondary bedrooms, one, two and three. And then the primary is over here to the right, separate from everything else with the loft in between. Really nice floor plan. I like this layout a lot. Richmond never fails to surprise you with these new floor plans. I think they're very efficient, practical, but also the design is really nice. Nine foot ceilings throughout both floors, second floor and first floor and the eight foot doors also is usually what they put into the spec homes. You can see uh, also the dual paint now that might or might not be into your spec home. And then full size bed in here, we have about 12 feet, like an 11 by 12 bedroom. So it's pretty spacious. To the left, we have uh, two undermount sinks. And usually they do add these both into their spec homes. You have a quartz countertop and then uh, the same white cabinets that were chosen for the downstairs. In here we have a tile shower surround. Usually you get a fiberglass uh, tub and shower combo here if it's not a big deal for you. And uh, upgraded silver, uh, well, brush nickel, uh, all the hardware. Usually it comes with the chrome, uh, but this model does tend to have more upgrades than the typical spec home, but the spec homes still have good quality materials in it and it looks really nice. This bedroom is also pretty big. I mean, this is probably um, 10 by 12, very spacious. This one comes with a full walk-in closet. Look at the size of this closet, beautiful. And then uh, this is the one that is all far, further away from the primary on the other side. And then you have this last one. This is probably the smallest one they have, like a 10 by 11, still spacious. Uh, you still have the full size bed. You can see how it fits in this room and also gets a walk-in closet and it's a spacious one too really nice and so you can change that room downstairs to make it into a full bedroom or you can keep it as a dining room that would be a great option or make it an office whatever you want you can do that well it's not like you can change it but you could get a spec home that has the option that you're looking for washer dryer and then you have the cabinets above 
Usually it'll come with a wooden rack above. Sometimes they might upgrade that, but rarely do they do that because the spec holes, they try to make them as uh, the least amount of money, they try to spend the least amount of money possible on them. You can see here, the primary bedroom is very spacious. King size bed, we have about six, 15 by 16. And uh, it's roomy. Yeah. Lastly, in your bathroom here, we have the walk-in shower. Usually in here, this is where they spend a little bit more money. So they'll do a tile all the way to the ceiling or maybe a cultural marble surround or a quartz surround with the tempered uh, five eighths of an inch glass as well. Two underground sinks are gonna be over here. Not much counter space in this bathroom, a little bit of a downside, but still nice. And then you can see here, walk, uh, water closet and this primary closet is actually spacious. It's very long and you can double, uh, double up on the rack if you want to. You have three windows letting in light and then there's a little linen closet over here. Okay, well, let's go outside. I, I think I showed you the outside. Yeah, I did, I went outside. So that's gonna conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying until the end. If you guys are interested in buying a house, I would love to be your realtor to represent you throughout this whole process. Don't call the builder. Don't go into the model homes by yourself because then I can't represent you for the most part. I'll try still. But, uh, you know, reach out to me so I can get you started with the whole process and then I can get you into the perfect home for you. Whether this is the one or if there's another house out there in the Las Vegas Valley that works best for you, maybe a better location for you for what you're looking for, depending on what's important to you. If it's crime rate, uh, you know, school districts and all that good stuff. Uh, but we'll get you started to, to, to get through to get you through that process of finding the perfect home for you and then narrow it down negotiate for you and be along your side along the way until you close on the house uh, to be there for all the fixes that the builders need to do on your house and manage the whole building process so if you're interested in those services you want a realtor to help you out with that you want to work directly with me reach out to me all my information is down below in the description also uh, subscribe to the channel for all the new construction home tours in the las vegas valley if you guys have any questions just reach out to me thanks for watching